Hello, all my super best friends on the internet. I want to talk to you for a brief moment about one of the big problems with Gab's Dissenter extension or app or whatever you happen to do to use it. The problem that a lot of people don't know about, it's a major privacy risk. The way Dissenter works is it sends every address that you go to on the internet to the Dissenter system. That's basically the key for the comments. They probably hash it and then they store and retrieve comments based on that hash, which is unique for every URL that you visit. So what ends up happening is every time you go to a website, Dissenter checks to see if there are comments left or if there are none, and in doing so, sends the URL you have just visited back to the service. If you are logged in, that also means they're sending the URL back to the service with your login information, which means they know that your login has accessed a particular website. I do not know what their policies are on storing this information. However, I'm sure if you look through the terms of service, you can figure something out. But even if they say they don't store any of that information, you still have to make the assumption that they are. There have been VPN services that have said we are no log VPNs that we're storing logs. So continue to use Gab's Dissenter if you wish, but be aware that it is sending every URL you visit along with your unique ID back to Gab services and they could potentially be storing that information in perpetuity and there's nothing stopping someone who breaks into the system or law enforcement from subpoenaing that information. I thought you might find that a little useful to know. So, while I like the idea of the service, I am not using it because the privacy risks are too great. If you are concerned with your privacy, think about this. Keep it in mind as you browse the internet. Have a good day.